loves, it's Lulu and I'm back today with another video. Today I'll be sharing with you my November Yes Oh Yes unboxing. So I'm really excited for this video this time around because I decided to do a little revamping on the way that I go about filming my unboxings and reviews. And I also listened to your feedback and you guys are asking for more up close swatches and more detailed information. So I definitely plan to do more of that. I welcome all feedback. So if there's anything that you wanna see on the channel, just be sure to let me know by dropping a comment down below. I'm such a huge fan of these monthly makeup subscription services and I absolutely love filming these unboxings for you. If you wanna see more unboxing videos just like this one, then be sure to let me know by dropping a like on the video by hitting a thumbs up on the video. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and see what's inside my November Yes Oh Yes bag. Yes Oh Yes is a monthly makeup based subscription service. The cost to join is $14.99 plus shipping and for that you get three to seven full size makeup items. The cost to value ratio is awesome so for $14.99 um, Yes Oh Yes guarantees that you get at least $85 worth of products at a minimum. Another really cool thing about Yes Oh Yes is their growing online community. So if you're into makeup videos, swatches, tutorials, and definitely check out Yes Oh Yes on their Instagram. Each month, Yes Oh Yes comes with a theme. So this month's theme is Girls Can, and I'm so here for it. If I had to complete that sentence, I would say that girls can do anything that they set their minds to. How would you complete the sentence? Let me know in a comment down below. The first product that I received this month is by Sorme Treatment Cosmetics. This is their brow lift highlighting pencil. So this pencil comes in one universal shade. It's great for lifting and brightening the eyes. So to give yourself a mini brow lift, just apply it under the arch of your brow and blend it in with a finger or a soft brush. To brighten your eyes, you can apply this to the inner corner of your eyes and blend. And if you want to take it a step even further, you can apply this pencil to your waterline for big bright doll eyes. This pencil is so smooth, super creamy, and it's so easy to blend. It's also fragrance, talc, and silicone free. So even when I'm applying this to my waterline, it doesn't irritate my eyes, it doesn't make my eyes water, so that's definitely a, definitely a plus. I would give this pencil a four out of five, only because I love the formula, but I'm not a huge fan of the color. It's kind of a, too much of a stark white for my skin tone. If it was like a champagne or a nude, I probably would give it a five out of five. The next product that I received this month is by Mirabella Beauty. This is their Swirling Pearl Brilliant Mineral Highlighter. So this is a mineral-based highlighter that is just so, so glowy, I love it. This highlighter is made with Mirabella's Prismatech Shimmer. So this technology combines all the benefits of the baked liquid and cream product. I love the fact that you can apply this with a light hand for a natural glow, kind of like what I did today. Or you can pack it on because can you ever have too much highlighter? I think not. So I would give this product a five out of five. I absolutely love the formula. I love the color. I love how it looks on the skin. The next product that I received is by Beauty Creations. This is their Unicorn Tears Liquid Highlighter. So this is the product that I'm probably most confused about just because of the color. So this highlighter has a nice shiny finish, but the shade just really isn't for me. This is more of a bronzy shade as opposed to something I would personally use as a highlighter. I think that it will look absolutely stunning on someone with a deeper skin tone, or maybe it'll look good on the eyes, I don't know. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I probably have to give this a 1 out of 5 just because it smells horrible. It smells really... It just smells really bad, so I probably won't be using this. The next product that I received is by Crown Brush. This is the BK14 Deluxe Oval Brush. So this brush is super, super soft and dense. So I think it will be perfect for packing on a lot of color on the eyelid. For my vegan friends out there, just a heads up, this brush is made out of badger bristles. So I do have to give this brush a two just because it's not vegan friendly. So I mostly eat vegan and vegetarian meals. Sometimes I'll make a rare exception for seafood too, but I try my hardest to avoid animal products as much as I can. So the brush itself isn't that bad, and if it was a synthetic version of the same brush, I probably would give it a higher rating. The last product that I received this month is by Aesthetica Cosmetics. So this is a lip palette, a lip contouring palette, and I am so excited about it. So this palette is an all-inclusive. It comes with five lip colors, and it comes with two double-sided lip pencils, a lip brush, and it even comes with a lip highlighter. 
It also comes with super detailed instructions on how you can create looks like an ombre lip. And it even comes with a contour tutorial. So if making your lips look super plump is your jam, then this is definitely perfect for you. These shades are overall pretty flattering and I think they will complement any skin tone. So I would give this product a 4 out of 5. I think that having everything in a convenient travel size kit is so convenient. The shades are pretty flattering. The instructions are really, really easy to follow. So I definitely appreciate that, especially someone like me who isn't a pro, just a regular person who loves makeup. I do need to share a little bit of a disclaimer though on this product. Um, it's so easy to go overboard when it comes to overdrawing your lips. So my advice is definitely when it comes to this product and overdrawing your lip line less is definitely more. So final thoughts, I got five full size products and the total rating for this entire bag this month, I'm giving it a three out of five, so it's not too bad. Let's talk about the price breakdown though, because yes, oh yes, is estimating. Yes, oh yes estimates that the total retail for this month for everything is $145. But after doing a little online research, I think they may have overestimated the value of some of these products. I estimated the total value to be about $103. And not only that, I feel like they really got over on me with that Beauty Creations highlighter because I actually found a full set of six on the Beauty Creations website for just $14.99. So that equaled out to, so basically this little bottle that I got is only worth about $2.50 and they're saying that it's worth $70. So maybe that's why they call it Unicorn Tears, I don't know. I'm not going to jump to conclusions just yet. It is that time of year where a lot of things are going on sale. Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals, so maybe that's why I'm getting these price discrepancies. So I'll continue to do these reviews. I'm still happy with Yes Oh Yes. I'll continue to do the breakdown, um, but if this becomes a recurring trend, then Yes Oh Yes is definitely going to have some explaining to do. But overall, I'm really happy still with this month's bag. Um, I think that that Mirabella highlighter is just everything. I'm telling you, it looks so gorgeous in person, and I would have definitely paid $14.99 just for that one product. I'm happy with Yes Oh Yes, but you don't have to take my word for it. If you're interested in more information or if you're interested in joining, then check out the link in the description box below. If you end up signing up using my link, then that will help support the channel. So thank you for that. So that's going to do it for this month's Yes Oh Yes unboxing. Please don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see so more. So sending you lots of love your way. Until next time, bye!